Well, this is what we're talking about, Alex and Christine. You see here this main boulevard. It is packed with traffic. And this, of course, is the boulevard where you have your shops and restaurants and attractions. Right next to it, a dedicated bus lane, and next to that, a bike lane. Washington Boulevard through downtown Culver City. One lane for vehicles, one lane for buses, and another for bikes. The dedicated lanes for bus and bike traffic came thanks to the pilot program, Move Culver City. It was a wild success. There was a dramatic increase in bike ridership. There was a dramatic increase in transit use. The buses way faster, which is a wonderful equity issue. Alex Fish was on the city council when Move Culver City was approved. Despite this success, the current city council voted to add back a lane of traffic by combining the bus with the bike lane. It's definitely a compromise. What we see during peak traffic, peak congestion times, which have been expanded uh, during this project, uh, cars are backed up for blocks, and then we look at the bike and bus lane and there's nothing in it. Dan O'Brien voted for change because he said a survey of residents wanted relief from traffic. Right after our interview, two residents proved how divisive the issue is. It's still wall-to-wall -wall traffic. So take your bike. That's what I do. Good. But Fish takes issue with the suggestion that the bus and bike lanes contributed to increased traffic. That's a region-wide phenomenon, if not a nationwide phenomenon, possibly because people have kind of gotten used to picking up their kids at school <laughs> and more flexible work hours, which is, you know, fine. But it's not because of Move Culver City. O'Brien takes issue with anyone suggesting he's not for a greener future. I want to reduce pollution, all these things. Um, but if we don't bring the public along with us in this, then they're going to feel disenfranchised. Well, you might be surprised to hear that there was also a proposal to extend the combined bus and bike lanes to La Cienega. But the same people who voted against the idea of any change to move Culver City also voted against that extension. In Culver City, Susan Hirasuna, back to you. So, Susan, we know we're in a community of a lot of regular and pro-bike bicyclists. Uh, what do they say about this? Well, there were a lot of people that came to the Culver City City Council meeting on Monday. A lot of people brought their kids who are starting to worry about climate change and lots of signs from people who say, you know, don't make any changes at all. But again, you heard from Dan O'Brien who said, look, this is a compromise. We're just trying to ease traffic, but at the same time, keep a lane for buses and bikes. So it's not perfect. But he says this is also a two-year program, a pilot program. In two years, we'll reassess. But again, they have to figure out whether or not they have enough room for another lane of traffic while keeping the lane for buses and bikes.